Good morning, everybody. I'm not like fully made up because I have to work late tonight. Like I'm working in the evening time, which is no fun. But uh, I figured maybe you guys could get ready with me. Isn't that like a thing that people do, <laughs> right? Like on the internet, like get ready with me. Yeah. Also, I used the elliptical today. Holy macaroni. I only went for like a mile and a half. It was like 15 minutes maybe. And my legs feel like jello. Who's ready to get ready with me? We start off by combing our hair. Then I have this little tiny comb that I use to comb out my mustache. First thing we need to do is brush our teeth using my favorite toothpaste, Colgate. Holy macaroni, I'm really fast at brushing my teeth. Whoa, where'd that towel come from? Then we have to use my least favorite mouthwash, Crest Pro Health. Stuff always leaves stuff in my mouth, I hate it. But look at me, I'm a chipmunk. Oh, oh where'd that towel come from? Then we use a blow dryer to kind of shape my hair while I'm combing it. I usually do this right after I get out of the shower so my hair's a little bit wetter than it is in this video. Then I switch the hair dryer to medium fan but still high heat and start to shape my mustache. Some of you guys have asked what products I use on my hair and mustache. I'll put some links down below so you guys can see if you would like to. Then I start to put the product in my hair. This is Davinus Styling Clay. It's a dry hold clay that I don't need very much of. Oops, I dropped the can. Oh man, I put a big dent in it. Whoops. So I don't need very much of this dry clay to hold my hair in the place that I want it to be. And it also makes it so that it doesn't have a wet look. Push it all throughout my hair and then comb it through. At this point, my hair is 99% the way that I want it to be. Then I use Bumble and Bumble Spray to Mode hairspray, but I don't use very much of it. I just kind of spray a little bit around my hair real fast. Next, we use hairspray. A lot of people think that I use wax in my mustache, but I actually use Tresemme hairspray. It's a whole level of four, and it is a humidity control hairspray. I don't use wax in my mustache because it melts in the floor to heat. Once I have my mustache sprayed up nice and good with some hairspray, then I kind of push the little straggler hairs out of my mouth. Then we start to shape it again with the blow dryer on high heat, but medium fan. And this dries out the hairspray and makes my mustache hold exactly where I want it to. That's how I get those nice tight curls that I like to have. Just a few little last touch-ups and a hair came out. One last little hold, and, and, and perfect. So we're doing things a little bit weird today. Tim has to work like an evening shift. So we're doing dinner now, and then you're gonna have your lunch for dinner. Lunch for dinner. Yeah, so right now, we are making this smoky chicken tacos with charred corn and sauteed veggies and salsa fresca. Here are the charred veggies. Here's the little salsa, the lime crema, and the charred chicken. Looks pretty good. You guys ready for the big reveal? Here's what it's supposed to look like, and here's how ours looks. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Those tacos were so good. This is awesome. I kind of like this. Jen's filming me. I feel <laughs> like I have a cameraman. I got use of both of my hands. But those tacos were amazing. They had something in them. Like we were like, oh man, there's no cheese. But there was something about the combination of all the ingredients that we didn't need cheese. Like, I don't know. It sort of tasted like there was cheese, but there wasn't any cheese. But it didn't I, really taste like there was cheese. I think it was the crema sauce because it's sort so. of that like. Like milky. Yeah, yeah. Creamy. And then like the lime on it really like helped. I don't know why, but like I never really put lime on Tex-Mex food. Lime really goes well with Tex-Mex food. Yeah. So I want to do that more. And yeah, it was good. The, it had jalapenos in it. The jalapenos weren't too spicy. They were just right. Probably could have even done with more jalapenos. I didn't actually get any heat out of it. So 
Yeah. <laughs> I give it two thumbs up because I got two hands. And you guys should thumbs up the video because... Stop telling them to the thumbs, thumbs up the up video. You the video yesterday. <laughs> no. They're gonna hate us. Oh, uh, do you hate us? Thumbs they... up the video if you do. <laughs> Here are the pups. Here are the pups. I'm just hanging out with the pups. <laughs> Back from work. It's so late. It's 11 o'clock at night now. Good times. Good times. I've uh, been doing a little bit of research, looking online on Amazon, trying to find a bag that is like a camera bag for the big camera that is padded and like nice, but also maybe could fit the laptop in it so that I don't have to have like, have the laptop in my hand and the camera in another bag. And like, I just want one bag that holds everything. What do you think? Do you guys have anything like that? Like, do you guys have anything to suggest? Leave me a comment down below and let me know like, hey, here's a great bag. It's very padded. It does great for cameras and laptops and everything. Uh, I just put one in my cart on Amazon. I don't I don't know, though. It's, it's not like a known brand or anything like that. It's just like, hey, this is the right size for your laptop and your camera could go in there and it looks sort of padded. So I'm like, just maybe it'll work? I don't know. We'll see when it comes. Let me ask you guys something. Did any of you guys ever work late and then you get home and you're just like, all right, Time to unwind, like time to like settle down from the day, but like in all reality, it's going on midnight and you should probably go to sleep. It's kind of the way that it is right now for me because like I'm not ready to go to sleep. I'm very tired, but I'm not ready to go to sleep. I'm ready to like kind of like sit down and like relax and like unwind from the day, but I, I have to go to sleep. <laughs> like it's a the struggle, the struggle is real, but I am gonna go to sleep so. I'm off to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.